these right these types of human rights <laughs> are the rights of each person to express beliefs through words and accusation or actions not accusations <laughs> oh boy <laughs> now uh, the thought conscious and religion <laughs> other civil liberties include the right to vote <laughs> and run for office now <laughs> Uh, I happen to be having my human rights violated. Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> and um, it looks like uh, the civil liberties of the human rights of being a human being. Yes. Um, they The right to vote has absolutely no meaning. Yes. When the electoral college does not <laughs> cast their votes for those that vote. Yes. <laughs> the, well, there's no use running for office <laughs> if they're not going to cast their votes as electors of individual states. <laughs> Let's say <laughs> you decide to run for office. <laughs> And then after the popular vote and all of those amendments, the elector said, nope, it does not matter that you campaigned. It does not matter that you raised contributions to your election. It has no meaning at all, all of those voters that contributed to your individual campaign. Now, if I went through the campaign contributions of each and every individual that ran for office, yes, the electors, do they vote for president and vice president, or do they vote for whomever they want? Why don't you give me the campaign contributions of the actual vote of the electors in each and every state of the United States, where somebody named Faith was uh, got a vote of one of the electors. I'd like to know how many people contributed to her campaign for president. I'd like to know each and every campaign contribution, <laughs> because when I get to sue them, because I will, I will get to sue I will get to fucking sue you. I would say that the electors yes, completely disregarded the vote of the actual citizens in the election, disregarded the campaign contributions of those that ran for office. Now, I know you wanted to make a statement, and it's good that you did. It's good. But when I heard that you decided to appeal the $1,000 fine, I thought this state for sure was liable for you being able to, well, let's say I sued the Washington state. Give me the total amount of campaign contributions for every individual that ran for office of president and vice president for the last 40 years. <laughs> Now, did you as a state want this lawsuit? Because I tell you, Governor Jay Inslee, when you ran, you're the executive, you're running for president. Are you trying to raise some campaign funds? Let's say you raised approximately a half a billion dollars. That's what it costs to become president of the United States. And you did this whole big campaign for approximately a year and a half. Yes. And half the population voted for you and the electors decided, no, nope, we don't like him. We're not going to vote for him. <laughs> now, when you think about a half a billion dollars with a campaign contribution. <laughs> <laughs> 